All right. Welcome back to Brittany's Brew Review. Oh, yeah, we're going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're like, oh, shit. Um, yeah. So welcome back to Brittany's Brew Review, uh, where each month, Brittany Fernandez, Brittany by Spooky, reviews beers for the Quick Sixer Collective. If you like any of this stuff, hit subscribe and uh, check out on all of our feeds and all the podcast stuff. And yeah, appreciate it. Leave whatever you want. Reviews, blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, yeah. Check out all the shows. Um, yeah. But today, B, we're trying Evil Twin Brewing Lemon Meringue. This looks so freaking good. I am I am pumped about this. <laughs> it's a, a 6% fruited sour ale with lemon and marshmallow flavors, it says. And uh, Evil Twin is out of New York. Uh, I try to look for this on their on their website, but they don't have this particular thing anymore. They only have oh. lemon meringue pie. So, oh, I bet that's good too. Yeah, I'm a big fan of lemon desserts. So, um, but yeah, this one says, I mean, it's averaging it's averaging a three point nine untapped. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like that's pretty good. Add a five. That's really good. Um, okay. And yeah, I haven't tried it yet, so. Everyone seems to like it though. So. And this is one that you brought back from New York for me. Is that true, or is this something you picked up locally? Uh, this was local. Um, yeah, actually, I found this in a in a shop in between our houses, actually. So, oh, yeah. There's this really good. I forget where it is, but uh, oh god, it's like. Bailey smelling from the top, you know, mm-hmm. but you get that hit of lemon. All right. You know, I'm a terrible Ooh. pourer. Oh, I know it. So, <laughs> so bad. I just kind of in here to pour it for me. Kind of looks like, oh, it looks like a light beer almost. It looks, yeah, it's like a lemonade. Yeah. Which, you know, I fucking love lemonade, too. I was thinking... Actually, that's weird. I was thinking about lemonade the other day. I don't know it's a weird s- statement to say. But uh, I was, like, trying to rank my favorite drinks. Like, just drinks of general life. Yeah. And I was, like, coffee, beer, <laughs> lemonade. Or, like, yeah. I think water, too. I guess you but put like, that water. The best lemonade is, like, at a fair or, like, at, like, one of those, like... <sighs> you know those like country events where it's like hey, first squeeze lemonade and they put it in that container where it has like the stripes and the lemon on it that's the best taste in lemonade ever yeah i mean lemonade on a hot day with some ice is the fire mm-hmm. all right what are, what are you thinking damn that's tasty it's like sparkly at the top of my glass i don't know if you're <laughs> it's like it's pretty i kind of yeah kind of tastes like a, um mm. i don't know man like i dig it i don't think like it's lemonade the, the, to me yeah but i feel like i've had this this like this before but not in a beer you know it's like the, this thing I Maybe feel like it's definitely a flavor that I've had and it's familiar. So I don't know if it's like anything that's like wowing me or like outstanding or, you know, yeah. anything that's like yeah. I'm going crazy over, but it's really freaking good. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's like a, I mean, I guess it is, you know, lemon meringue. That is the, that is the flavor, but <laughs> that's probably why I've had it before. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, if I had this like with a slice of lemon meringue pie or something, Ooh. I'd be like, yeah, this works, you know. What's the difference between this one and the pie one? Because this has the marshmallow in it. So what does the pie have? The crust flavor? I guess so. It's got a maybe. It didn't say. But I assume so. Like, oh, look. I was curious because I do think what would make this like something i would really really love is the crust graham cracker like crust flavor yeah 
Oh yeah, it does have graham cracker in it. Mm. But it's a hard seltzer. Oh no, why? This it just needs to be this with the graham cracker. <laughs> it needs to be this. <laughs> um yeah, Evil Twin though, they do a lot of uh beers with fruit and stuff like plums and tangerine and well, I bet a plum one is yeah, raspberries. Fuck. It fucks probably, I, I would say. Um, looks like lots of lots of honey looking things. Mm. I don't know. Uh, they do a lot of shit. Like I, I pulled up their like beers list, or I'm like looking at their beers list on their website, and it's like, oh, a filter for a beer, or you can view all 598 of their beers. <laughs> That's a lot. You said okay, so Evil Twin is in New York. You said yeah. All right, I like the name. That's pretty. Yeah, Interesting. I don't know where this Ridgewood is, but <clears throat> Dumbo Tap Room. That's yeah, and then they have Evil Twin Coffee. So I guess it's oh. it's a whole brand. Um, this tap room looks dope. It looks like a little greenhouse. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's got plants and shit. Yeah, they got a fuck ton of beers on on tap here, which is kind of crazy. Ridgewood, New York. Uh, where is which would that's right near Queens Brewery, apparently? Okay, um, which is oh, it's like in Bushwick. So these are both Brooklyn ish, yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter really. Uh, they just have a ton of years, and I feel like we've reached, I reached out to them a long time ago, and they during uh quarantine and i don't know if it worked out at the time but they seemed pretty cool from yeah i've never been there but it seemed like yeah, a this pretty wasn't, cool place this wasn't one that you guys popped into when you were in new york no um but maybe next time you know what do you think about this <laughs> this uh can i'm sure like the cover about it yeah it's like <laughs> it looks like you're like a some kind of like a I don't know, like new age pop art ice cream yeah. cone. <laughs> yeah. Like it's got like a cream thing at the top and then lemons in the other triangle. Yeah. But, it's interesting. It's very um uh simple and mm-hmm. what's the other word. Well, words are hard today. Simple. <laughs> simple. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, but yeah, it is. I mean, it is pretty simple. I keep wanting oh. to say modest. Modest, modest. I think you're maybe mod, like a mod, like modern, modern art, maybe. (laughs) I don't know, (laughs) but I mean, it is kind of like I like the gold though. I I fuck with gold though, you know. I kept seeing this in my fridge, and I was like, I really want to fucking drink that. Like, I bet that one's good. I, I purposely kept it at the bottom of my fridge, so I like wouldn't touch it. I was like, I can't touch that one. Yeah. Uh, so what are you thinking out of five? You said it was a three point nine on on a uh, untapped. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna average. go that high on it. Okay. Okay. I had another sour one that I sent you a picture of earlier today. It was the um, double cherry smoothie or whatever from. High fi- high wire brewing, um, yep. And I gave that one a three point two five. Oh shit! I, I liked that one better just because I felt like there was more flavor. Okay. So I think I think I'm gonna go just a three on this one. Okay. Okay. Middle of the road. Yeah. Um, Which is my average untapped apparently. <laughs> yeah my average is pretty low too honestly i'm pretty i feel like i'm judgy like every time i check something I'm like damn i'm a hard hard critic well the things that i really really like i want to give those like high reviews for so it's like if i get something at two or 2.25 or something like that i didn't hate it if i hated nah. it i would give it a one. Oh shit <laughs> if i give something a two i'm probably not drinking it again like straight mm, up okay Gotcha. Uh, if I give it a three and above, then it's acceptable. Okay. Uh, okay. Four and above, I will seek it out. Like yeah. four, actually four and a half and above, I'll seek it yeah. out. 
it's really hard for me to give things like that high <clears throat> review like even movies and stuff like that I'm like four and five you gotta really that's like reserved for <laughs> this is like <laughs> yeah uh yeah it's uh I don't know. I like it. I feel like it would be a good. I mean, we're in like the dead of winter, so it's kind of weird, but it'd be a good like summer beer. Yeah. Well, this but, is the March beer, right? Yeah. So, so this is a we're good, hitting spring, you know? Yeah. It's a good spring beer. I mm-hmm. think this is, it's actually, I'm glad we're doing this one because it's been, the weather has been so back and forth here. And today it has been miserably cold. And so over the winter, the like brightness and sours and fruit and <laughs> things that look like sunshine in a glass. I am all about yeah. it. I mean, it's nice. It is nice. <clears throat> I feel like it's very smooth. Like here's the high points. Like I feel like it's smooth. It's crushable. Like I'm almost done with this thing. And it's like, uh, I don't know, not too heavy feeling even though it's a 6.0 yeah. you know it doesn't feel it feels almost like it drinks like a light beer like this would be the perfect beer to drink on my porch mm-hmm. and then have the ice cream man roll by with some popsicles or something oh my god get you a power rangers or something <laughs> or, 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 a, a bomb pop a bomb pop or Shit. strawberry shortcake <sighs> That's the one. This yeah. with a strawberry shortcake ice cream. This is kind of crazy. Speaking of, uh, I don't know, I occasionally think about this, but when I left New York as a kid, uh, well, I left pretty young, but there's like random things I remember about living there. And one of them was the ice cream man because you could get not just like, you know, the Ninja Turtles head or whatever, but you mm-hmm. could get like a, uh, like a soft serve cone like dipped in sprinkles and shit from the ice cream man. Yeah, because the machine was in the in the truck. Right? Yeah, in the truck. But I, it's so weird. Like that's like one thing that sticks in my head about being a kid. There is like, yeah, I could get a fucking soft serve ice cream dipped in sprinkles. Oh, God. And, and ever since then, I've never been able to get that. Like it's just not a thing. I think this is a metaphor for. <laughs> for coming of age into adulthood <laughs> like as a kid <laughs> as a kid you always have your soft serve with your sprinkles it's, that's just life because you can do whatever the fuck you want and like there's no consequences and you just yeah. live in life as a kid riding your bike watching your stupid cartoons like not a care in the world and then the world took away our soft serve with sprinkles anytime we wanted it it really did i don't know where to get it now like where do you get that you have to go well, to like fucking... a fucking ice cream shop or a and buffet. Like, yeah. Like what? I'm going to go to a <laughs> casino. Get this shit right now. I'm not going to a casino. You, you know, McDonald's don't got their ice cream machine working. Never. So. Shit's never working. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. No, I remember I did a show in Vegas and uh, we stayed there for a month. And legit every day we'd go down and like, you know, get food at the fucking buffet in the, in the, in the hotel. And I swear to God, every day. You could get at lunch. This is kind of fucked. I didn't tell anybody this really, but you could get unlimited <laughs> beers in the hotel uh, buffet. Yeah, that's <laughs> sort of God. So you, yeah, you could just be like, "Oh, another beer, please," and they'd be like, oh, "Okay, do you want two? Just so you don't have to skip." And I'm like, "Yes, please." <laughs> so they'll give you like two beers, even if you're <laughs> not. Because I know if you're gambling, like liquor, beers free, but like they just yeah. give it to you. At the buffet, yeah. <laughs> at least the at the palms they did, like for sure. Incredible. I know. So literally, I'm sitting. I have a picture of it. I'll send it to you. But uh, picture of me with like two beers, and sitting in the palms, like fucking area. <laughs> like, uh, you know, you get like all the most random shit at a buffet in a casino. So mm-hmm. I feel like I was having like probably like chicken tenders and like lasagna or some bullshit, <laughs> like something random. <laughs> But then you can go up and you can get a fucking saucer of cone or bowl with rainbow sprinkles like I want. So I'm eating. I'm pretty positive. That's what I had on my table when I had the two beers, which is beers and ice cream with sprinkles. 
So that's how you overcome age. You have it all at once, all in a box. I don't know what happened. I don't know. But it's bullshit. We got to seek out rainbow sprinkles now on soft serve ice cream. Bullshit. I fucking hate that. Anyways, big is a, a three or two, two and a half, three. What'd you get? What's wrong with you? Oh, you can't hear me. She fucked up. She fucked her whole shit up. <laughs> oh, shit. She put me on mute, it sounds like. Or she put herself on mute. So, <clears throat> with that, we'll just fucking end it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I can barely hear you now. <laughs> oh, shit. Brittany's settings are all fucked. So we're going to sign off of this one. This has been Brittany's Brew Review. What about uh, now? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say anything else before we sign this one off? You can hit. Huh? I'm going finish my beer. Fucking up. Do you want to say anything before we, we dip out of this? Can you hear me? Yeah. You can't hear me? <laughs> I guess I'm going to go finish this. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I feel like I'm usually crushing this by the end of our episodes, but this one was a little slow. Mm -hmm. You did start earlier, though. Like, you, this isn't your first beer of the day. So. That's true. That's true. Now you're going to crush yours. So. Yeah, I'll finish mine. So, nothing else to say before we are out of here? <laughs> Um, no, I said I was going to give it a three. I think we're, we're stuck on our three. Oh, and you said before we started this, that this was our ninth episode, right? Yeah. That's Nine. crazy to me. Nine so months straight. Go back and watch all the, watch and listen to all those. And we've been, we've been consistent. We haven't missed a month yet. We have it. We're starting off your happy women's history month with this, this lemon beer. Yeah. So um we have some it. other stuff planned um so go ahead and stay tuned to all the quick sixer channels and shows for all of this stuff um it's gonna be pretty cool if it, if it works out then um you'll be hearing some pretty cool episodes on the 6th the 12th the 18th and the 24th so Dang. think about us when you're buying beer um <laughs> <clears throat> anyways always <laughs> anyways this is Brittany's brew review We'll see you in April. Yeah. Bye.